Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2? Wow, I got distracted. I was looking at the bottom right and all the stuff pop up. I was actually just thinking I gotta record some Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Ugh, my brain. Anyway, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where I'm level 21. A Aloy can drink now. How exciting. Um... I used up all my skills, that's right. I'm very excited. I'm gonna be harder to detect. I'm so excited. It's not perfect, obviously. Um, so, I do need to do this because I <laughs> think I'm gonna do this one too. The, the, the deluge. Oh, but first, I do know that there's this person. No, not. Okay, yeah. I don't care about that. The workbench might be good. I should actually stop by the workbench too, really quick, to make sure. Ooh. To check cra crafting capabilities, like what I need to do. Oh, I need to. Ow. I swear I'm gonna knock these cords down one day. And I'm gonna feel real bad about it. Ooh. I'd like to see this place in the daytime. I've only been here at night. Chill, children. Oh, you're a potions person. Show respect. This is your opportunity yeah. to buy I, fine I, goods, I no Outlander. More. The hunting grounds stay open. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, I could. Off from front, it's legendary, but bound. Like, I don't, it looks like a heart to me, you know? I don't know what it actually is supposed to be. It looks like a fake, like, not a fake heart, like a prosthetic heart? I don't know how you say that. <laughs> oh, shoot, I should check out, I'm, I'm, an, I'm almost an idiot. I need to check out the armor and stuff that they have in this place. Oh, extra range damage after a successful melee attack interesting there's so many ways to play this game and it's a little overwhelming but it is also really cool honestly oh so you have your regular blast and then you have your long-range blast is that what that is interesting <gasps> what is this the novel awesome invention uses stagger beams to inflict damage over time can be upgraded and knock down enemies with greater ease. Oh my gosh, whatever that little little looking stuff. That's pretty dope looking. An anchor trip caster. <gasps> I think that I already see this, I think. Yeah, in a different place, but it's so cool. Shock ropes to inflict damage over time and create an area of residual damage. It can also like purge water canister or boots. I want it. Plasma. Oh, I think I need that. I don't have a plasma weapon. But these are, look at that. Sun, I need a sunwing thing, a slither fang circulator. I haven't even fought a slither fang since the beginning of the game. This one, a bellow back. Not too hard, I think, to get. Iron Eater Shredder Gauntlet. Oh, they have acid ones. I do like these gauntlets. I think they're cool. Piercing Shredder Gauntlets. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're getting into the purples now, boys and girls. Oh, it sucks. Okay. Um, Mid-range bow inflicts extra damage in using Overdraw and it gets knocked down enemies. So Overdraw, is that just when you pull the bow back <laughs> as far as it can and you hold it? I have Overdraw potions too and I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> it's just like... I'm like, if I pull it back all the way? <laughs> Death rattle, okay. Short range, I don't like the short range bows. Uh, it can be upgraded to deal extra damage to knock down or shocked enemies. So the different combos you can have is really fun. <gasps> Whoa, I'd have to save my bellow back circulator for this. Chin weapon? Who's that? We haven't met any chin. Kin? 
Exiles at delivering acid payloads that corrode enemy armor can be upgraded to deal more damage when fired while sliding your midair. Still haven't done that. <laughs> Still have not successfully done that. This is acid purge water and tar or whatever it is that like slow down stuff. Is that corrosive? No. Okay, the corrosive is going to be the acid. I'm pretty sure that that tar thing just like slows them down. A sap or whatever it is. It doesn't actually do any damage. It has been useful, though. I've used it a few times on the little one that I have. Oh, a sunwing circulator. I don't have any plasma weapons. I'm firing down on enemies from high ground. Okay. I think that's, like, the only damage type I don't have right now. Yeah, buddy. Gimme, gimme. Two of those. Sure. I'll take one of those. Smoke bomb. Sure, I will buy smoke bombs. Okay. So nice. Oh, his weapons are so nice. <laughs> Some of these just have like your regular bows, some of which are better at long range, or some of them are better at short range, and some of them, they, like, they don't have like a special elemental thing, but they can deliver like more like impact damage or something, you know? Like there's, there's just a wide variety. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. Let me, oh yeah, workbench. Where's my workbench? Okay, the precision arrow quicker is what I have to level up. For my tear arrows. Excellent. Moonfish. I need moon. I need fish. Specific fish. Owl wishbone. Goodness gracious. What was one of these? Other? I need it. I need rabbit and yeah. For the spike, I need rabbit and I need squirrel. My children. For something for the trap pouch. Yes, 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 yes. Squirrel rabbit and moonfish. <laughs> Basically anything I could get my hands on. Just kill them all. The birds? The fishes. Uh you know what? Sure, let's upgrade the bomb satchel. Well, we might as well. Those are the only two I could do. Definitely upgrading to now. More bellowbacks. I'm gonna need to, gonna need to go bellowback hunting. Excellent. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade this one. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay. I think I have done everything. Oh, nope, need to go look over here. Need to go look over here. I'll be back in a second. Ooh, Kadra Wanderer was new. I like that. Low health regen and a quick trapper bonus. So the Kadra ones have a lot of trap bonuses. I like that. Tanakh armor. Oh, wow, I like that. Oh my gosh, look at all the skill bonuses for the purple. That makes sense. Utaru Thresher. <laughs> the hardened armor of Utaru machine hunters. It's ideal for use with heavy weapons. What? Since when are Utaru using heavy weapons? Interesting. Heavy lifter and heavy weapon. Low health range, low health valor increase. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The paint is awesome. Very nice. Cards of Shadow always looks nice. Tra plus one trap limit. Oh ho ho. I was like, it's the arrow breaker, whatever, but. It's designed for trapping and melee combat. I like the Cardio one better. Critical strike, trap limit, melee damage. 
I'm not really a melee person, despite doing traps. I want to do my traps and then get away. <laughs> I don't want to. Come back again. I don't want to go hit them afterwards. I wonder if I'll get to explore the dead cauldron. I probably can. Okay, I was like, is that the one that I that I know of? It is. What? What do I find? What do I? Find? Look here, you. I'm just trying to get to where I need to be. I do need to take off the uh, animation, the picking up animation. Maybe I'll just do that now. It just makes things easier, especially in a fight. Animations off. I know some people have recommended that too, so let's see. Yeah. Let's see, I do. Oh, I, yeah, I can do it on the run. Perfect. I can see her, like, start to want to pick it up, though. It's funny. Like, do the pickup animation. Oh, I should have bought more machine muscle. Oh, no. Terror isn't good on people anyway. Good day. That's a lot of angry to knock. Draka and Yara are already here. Oh, please, don't make me fight. I'm really hoping. Whoa, that was Why are they making fun of me and my acrobatics? All I did was jump off the thing. Sorry. Draka, of all the irresponsible things you hey, if you don't like it, you can leave, old man. Uh, hey, if you don't like it. You're here. And I thought you didn't care. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Hmm, pick a side. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan, to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Now I have to pick a side. And I'm going to pick Yara. Because, like, I... Draka is being impulsive. I mean, like, and I... He has a good reason. He's, like, he's chafing under the leadership of Yara. But, like, she's the one who's held things together for this long. She had to lie on purpose. Like, you tell people there's no water, they're going to panic. You know? Like, you... And you can't can't blame people for that but you also don't want to just do that like there's a reason people use code phrases in like uh, train stations and airports if there's an emergency of some sort that doesn't involve like the entire airport they use code phrases so that nobody else gets alarmed you know and like you don't cause an undue panic so like and she's she seems a lot more level i mean and I, I say a lot more level-headed level-headed for a tenag <laughs> and like he's just kind of 
I don't think he I don't think he had anything to do with the wound issue and I don't think he necessarily wants I think he does think he'd be a better leader but like he's a good leader of his people like of his little group but I feel like she's the one who's being who's doing better at like making the hard decisions because you have to make the hard decisions you can't always just be nice to everybody you know what I mean like it's just in a in a survival situation this it's not how it works anyway Oh, can I do this? Can I just, can I have them just go, just stop, stop it. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Uh, for once, we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. Oh, okay. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Nobody does. Nobody makes anything easy. I do have to pay. Okay. Because truly, this is dumb. They're, they're kind of all caught up in this, like, leadership thing. And, like, it does kind of make it seem like... I think... I think it makes it seem like Draka just wants to be in charge, but so does Yara. It seems like Yara just wants to keep her position, but both of them think they could do better than the other. But also, they're going to get people killed for this, you know? But again, that's the Tanakh way, so... Sorry, Draka. I... Truly, he's cute, he's charming, I like him, I think he's got a good heart, but... She... It's kind of reminds me of the Andromeda mission. Um, this actually very much reminds me of the Andromeda mission between like oh my gosh the woman who's like running the like depot or whatever on that dang that planet that i cannot remember all of it f uh for the life of me and then the reyes the like sort of outlaw guy um well they're all outlaws uh, the underground uh, manipulator i guess the guy who controls some certain things from the shadows anyway this reminds me kind of of that situation um and that's a tangent. I'm gonna side with Yara. The coming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Wait, so I thought he was saying he doesn't... Nice knowing you, Aloy. I thought he was saying he didn't want to fight me because he's seen how I fight. Dude, I took on a thunder job. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draco. I am confused. Are we like uh, having multiple people? So we are not just having the okay. cape. I thought, I thought we were just gonna have us fight, and then he was like, "No, these soldiers are staying with me because I don't want to fight you." And then he's like, "Hey guys, new rules. It's just gonna be us fighting." But maybe he just means these particular, this group. We're not gonna run around murdering everybody else's loyalists is that what we've decided how am i supposed to tell them apart i can't freaking tell them apart what, what kind of no not that then is that a blaze container cool let's see if i can i don't think anybody's over there there's too many my brain hurty Is that not explosive? Woo! Yeah, well, listen, here, everybody. Alright, next idea. Oh no. It's so hard. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Hmm, I should change my currently equipped Valor, you're right. Thank you, game. What all else do I have that would be 
useful. Oh. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I do have one on the hunter. Okay. Ooh. Good. What are people weak to? I don't have, uh... Okay, there we go. We got some. Are you my friend? It's so hard to tell. A child can get better than that. Oh my gosh. Don't hide, you coward. Oh, what all else do I have? Let's see. Wow, it takes a lot to take you down. Uh, individual. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Oh, I am. Ooh, no, I am using. Okay. I can't. I can't see. Cause of the stinking. Am I not hitting? Oh wait, is this him? Oh, I am not killing them. I think that's what it is. I am not killing them. I'm just. Okay, let's try some of the melee stuff. Okay. Oh, I did kill them. I can kill them. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> I have no idea. It's over, <laughs> No idea what's going on. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Oh, okay. Oh, that's rough. I guess you, she couldn't keep him alive, but... Still, that's rough. Ah, that's rough. Oh. Aloy would be very upset, I think. Yeah. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. <sighs> well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now. For all you've done for this clan. First of all, it's a purple! Oh my gosh, what? Choose a desert commander, okay. Oh, it's a short bow, but oh, look at all the stuff it has. It can be upgraded to deal extra range damage after a successful melee. Do you people think that's what I, that's not what I do. <laughs> I don't try to hit people. I try to stay far away from them. But having a purple is nice. My first purple. The desert clan owes you, Huntress. That was a little confusing, I'm not gonna lie. I... I assume we meant in the end that it was, um... All just meant to stay within this clan, not every, not anywhere else. You know, we're not beating up other people. Uh, that death was... I didn't even... I didn't even know, because the guy I was fighting that didn't fall over, even when I hit him a bunch, he had a helmet on, whereas in the... In the cutscenes, he didn't have a helmet on, so I was like, I couldn't, I recognize him very well. If that was him, I assume it was. Save these for when I need it. 
Anyway, I only killed like three people. <laughs> I don't know how many we were fighting, but still. I don't know. That was brutal. That was pretty brutal. Like I get it, right? Like she couldn't leave him and he didn't want to like I think he was like it's not done yet because he wasn't he wasn't dead yet, you know? So he didn't he would just keep fighting her if if she let him live. Desert reptile meat. Wow. Thanks. It didn't have to be like that, but mm, that's what they made it. They made it that way, so, you know? I'm curious. Oh, I can go in here. It is a cauldron. Interesting. I think I'll call this one here for now, but maybe I'll hop into a cauldron. I don't usually like going into them. Um, they frustrate me. I can't beat things up as much as I want to. And I can't set as many traps as I would like. <laughs> but... Is that the only... Oh no, we have this cauldron. Yeah. And we have two cauldrons? That's right. Well, we found we found another cauldron. Was it? No, that's not it. Um, alarm antennas. Whoop. It must be. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a scrapper thing. Um. I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, we found one and we did it. We found like a cauldron and we did it. And then it uh they're like, now you gotta go back to Gaia and have her reconstruct it. And I was like, that's just BS of BS. Let me tell you. Let me tell you that it that is BS. <laughs> let me just let me just have it. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh I hope you all weren't too terribly confused by all that. <laughs> but Thank you again really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. You're the super bestest, and I super appreciate you a ton. So thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.